Oh, I'm thinking of a way of introducing everything and, and not screwing up my English. So we are in the world of D&D. &D. You know, it's a world of kingdoms, of castles, of village, uh, of peasants, of farmers, you know, guards, all, all that kind of stuff. And the world is quite, you know, it has a lot of history. And uh, throughout the, the most recent age, uh, a lot of, um, of furry people, you know, foxes, hopkins, nova beasts, are spreading around. And your kind always have, uh, had issues. Mm -hmm. They had issues because they don't get along eye to eye with the, with the rest of the, human, of the humans. And uh, it has caused troubles. But so far, nothing major. The the kingdoms are are ruled by uh, by the emperor, and uh, and the emperor has been uh, kind to uh, all the races that uh, share uh, the lands, uh, dwarves, elves, uh, uh, floofy people, except for Avalis. Avalis Avalis get get squished, but it's a it's another story. <laughs> no, and so everything was nice <laughs> until one day. The emperor was assassinated, and he worked real hard to maintain the peace between all the smaller kingdoms and regions that are uh, underneath his ruling. But the kingdom, the the the, the peace didn't survive. Uh, so war broke out. War uh, the persecutions of of other people got uh, got uh, out of hands. And uh, there was a lot of issues, uh, and so uh, slowly but surely, you, you uh, all the all these communities were pushed out of the older parts of the empire towards a uh, borderlands of the empire. Hmm. And one day, there was an expedition at sea, and a new uh, continent was discovered. And when that new continent was discovered, a lot of people were like, "Oh, that's that's great! We're gonna we're gonna go there. We'll get a fresh start." And a lot of the people that went there were actually the people that were persecuted or either fleeing for for uh, from you know uh, their past or uh, uh, something they done. And so they fled towards the new continent. Hmm, and so you your story begins in a tavern on the you are you you heard about the rumors about uh some captains that were uh ferrying passengers for a fee towards the new continent these captains have been ferrying people over there but you gathered all your savings and you're pretty confident with uh having enough money to go there you 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 are uh, hoping to be able, since this is m uh, mostly a savage land, to be able to land your services uh, over there. And so you arrive in this tavern. Um, you're traveling towards the shoreline, uh, which is like maybe a week uh, further away. And you are in this tavern. And the wizard comes up to you while you were, you know, uh, eating some food, uh, drinking, chilling out after uh, a days of walk, and, um, and he tells you, "Oh, you're one of those that are uh, looking for um, for passage to the other to the other world." Well, fear not, I have a much better deal to offer you. And uh, and he oh. tells you, uh, "I am willing to teleport you." Over there. But the downside is. Um, he, he He's not powerful enough to teleport all of your stuff. And you're like, you know, I don't have much to me uh, other than my gold and my equipment. So you, you won't be able to bring uh, your. Uh, Let's say more uh, more big possessions, like uh, if you if you happen to have a have a bed or stuff like that, or um, you know carriage. And so you don't have much stuff anyway. So you're like, all right, 
uh, we strike a, you you manage to strike a deal with the wizard and he teleports you with all your equipment but not your belongings not your and uh, and he keeps your belongings and in exchange your he sends you away all right roll roll a d20 the dice rolls and it's uh 11 all right let's see 11 11 so um inside is purple you have all right so nothing picks too fishy to you well, that guy they, the the, the mm. fact that that guy comes up to you is a bit weird but you know you don't really mind and you're like all right never mind and you take the deal and so he okay. comes you he, he brings you outside the tavern and you you grab your armors and your stuff and you're all ready and uh and you you go in the clearing and the guy said all right here he comes um well i don't know if i ever going to see you again but you know good luck out there and so he draws on the floor um the spot he, he has a map that shows the 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 bare minimum that because not much have been explored on this continent and so he draws on the floor uh like the place you're gonna you're gonna be teleported to and it's like the small t so there are two towns on the new continent that are like on mostly one but there is a second one that is like the first branch uh where um where people are residing but uh, the the main town is not the place he's gonna send you. He's gonna send you to the smaller place. Mm, I see. All right. And so he channels his spell, and he throws it at you. And at the moment he throws it at you, he's like, "Oh crap! I forgot the." And then you're, and then it fades to black. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Am I going to be sent to a, rock to a volcano or something? No. Uh, no. All right. So this is where it really starts. Like, that's what just mostly the introduction. All right. So you wake up. You're like, you feel very tired. Uh, everything that's around you is very dark. And you feel like... You know, you wake up for a deep, from a deep, deep sleep, and all your muscles are like barely registering uh, when you try to when you try to move. And so right now you're just you 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 gain your senses come back to you little by little, and you're just you're just crampled on the floor like you fell down like in a weird position. And you're not you don't not sure where you are or what you're doing here, but. Uh, you have the feeling that some time has passed. Uh, well, yeah. And so you wake up and you're in the total darkness. And as your eyes slowly adapt to the lighting around you and, you know, you regain some senses, you can see there is some light streaming from small cracks in the ceiling that illuminate a room and all right this is where i start to draw ba, 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 ba. um i need a pen here back all right blue blue will be easier all right so we cut you wake up in a small square room There is water on the floor, but you passed out. Basically, you, you're on a small stone table uh, in a corner. Oh, no. How, how did I end up on a table? Well, I, I, <laughs> you know, this is, this, is, this is for you to figure it out. And so you wake up in this small room. There is water. Mm -hmm. After a while, you manage to stand up, and you feel you feel a little groggy still from a uh, from a, uh, you know, all the, the teleportation you assume, and you're 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 ready to go. 
And so you scan the room, and in the room you see there there are two other tables. On one of them, there is the remain of a statue crampled on the floor. Like there is a broken statue here. On the other table, there is a okay. statue of an adventurer still standing. Oh. Okay, I feel like I know what this is about. The other guy, the other statue was a guy. Well, I spoiled everything already, but you don't see you don't see a door uh on first glance in that room. Hmm. So I'm trapped inside a room that has no doors or exits. I mean you could yeah, you know, you have to you have to search the room. I do have for my god and see dark vision, so I can kinda see clearly. I have dark vision? Alright, so yeah. Yeah, I mean fox are nocturnal, so that makes sense. So I'm gonna allow it. In that case So you um, you you are able to see pretty decently in the room and there is like on the t uh, directly ahead uh, in front of the of the table you were on you can see the yeah. wall is slightly further back and you follow around it's like you, yeah it could be a door shape of something of of some kind mm -hmm. so maybe there is some mechanism or something to open that kind of door yeah if he's an actual door um, on these kind of cases, do I have to make to roll an inside check to, uh, in, uh, to so see what we're, we're not the room? since uh, if you fail, you basically trapped here. We're just you're gonna just describe to me what you're gonna do, and I'll tell you if it works. It's okay, not so work, he's gonna die. I what? <laughs> what? No, don't worry about it. Keep, 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 keep role play. I I think. I think I, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to inspect the broken statue. Uh, so you something... go towards the broken <laughs> statue, and uh, yeah. it broke down in quite small pieces. But you can you can find uh, you can find like fingers, uh, something that appears to be a piece of clothing, maybe uh, a, a, a piece of sword that broke down in pieces. Uh, there's nothing bigger than like your uh, your um, the one uh, a piece of finger, I guess. There's there's they're they're quite hmm. small fragments, and you're not really able to figure out anything about who that person might have been. It's just it's just broken. There is like there is. How? It appears that the equipment that the person was wearing uh, broke apart along with the person or the statue. So, all right. In that case, what about the other, the other one in the other table? The other statue? Right. You go to the other statue and uh, you examine it. And it is a real lifelike volley. It looks it looks very realistic for a statue that more than you have ever seen, and it is it is um it is a I mean it is an avali. It's not very tall. You reach a little higher than your waist. Yeah, it has to be like that. And it has like uh, uh some some clothing, but it's not armor really. It has a backpack and uh and a small staff. Is the are the is the equipment also turned into stone or just Yeah, the, 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 the all the stuff that is the 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 statue has is is basically stone. Mm, okay, that's in that case I cannot scavenge. <laughs> no. Mm. There might be something more. What happens if I try to lift the avalo or try to move it? Is it is it real heavy? I mean, it's a stone. Alright, so you I grab the statue, and you 
and you you pull on it or roll roll uh roll the d20 again mm -hmm. no the one that you throw already we don't want too many dice uh, hanging around we pick like the worst spot to set up because there is like the wall on which I draw a stair like here there is a stair if I go over there you know, well that's what happened or right, 11 so you I managed to gonna... move the bird slightly it is very heavy <laughs> but you man you can move it a little bit mm, okay that didn't do enough but at least i know that i can move uh, a statue above all right roll another d20 it... okay we're gonna do a lot of dice oh, rolls yeah. How much did you roll? 17. All right. A 17. Mm -hmm. You see the, like, something that is supposed to look like a door on, on one edge of the room. And so you go over there and you start tapping the stones around, around the, the supposed opening. And mm -hmm. you place your hand on one of the stones... And when you put pressure on it, the stone just clip a little bit further. Oh. As it does, it does make you hear a lot of rumbling behind the door. And the uh, uh, it's like it was a disc. It was a disc, a stone disc. And it started rolling to the side. And as it does, it reveals a passage on the other on the other side of the door. But it only halfway opens before you hear a loud crack behind the wall and the door gets stuck halfway open. Oh no. And so from no, here I, have, I think I have <laughs> From here you see the corridor that goes up a little bit. And then there is a wall with two, you cannot, you're pretty sure that it's going to be a hallway, but. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so. I have a real dumb idea. I want to use one of the statues to totally hold the door. So if in case that close, it's not going to close because there will be a statue in the middle. Yeah. All right. So you grab the statue and you manage to put it. Uh, be in the door opening to uh, try to hold it if uh, if it ever was to uh, try to close. Alright, so you grab it, uh, you mm. manage to move it, uh, you don't make too much noise, you don't drag it on the floor whatsoever, but you manage to move the statue, and the second statue that was there is now over here, like blocking the the the, the way. I mean, you can still pass through, but yeah. Mm, oh, I can still pass. Okay, yeah. in that case, I actually want to bring with me that as well. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. We're, we're gonna we're really. gonna migrate. Oh. So, what are you gonna do now? Um, I wanna I want to try to um to explore over here. Okay. So you move in further towards the hallway and the hallway goes towards both sides. Like you go, you go on the edge and you peek on both sides. Hey, do right. what, what? And so here there is like a staircase. It is pretty dark, but with your dark vision, you manage to see. There is like a staircase mm -hmm. going down. And over there, it goes that way, a little bit. And there is another angle that you cannot see. Oh, um, hold on a second. 